Welcome back to the channel, and I hope you are doing absolutely well. This is Eddie back with another video. So, today is going to be the review of the AOSIP Dubfest unofficial ROM for the Redmi Note 3. So, without any further ado, let's now get started. So here is my Redmi Note 3 in the AOSIP dub first. Let me first show you about device section. So guys, I've already reviewed this room previously on my channel. The link is in the description. You can check it out. This is just gonna be an update video. So going into the Android version, as you can see here is the version. It says dub first. The security patch is of July 5, 2019. That's really great. And as you can see the build date over here, it says 22nd July 2019. This is the latest build at least at the time of recording this video. The kernel here is the Xcrema X27 kernel version is 3.10.108. So going back and talking about other stuff everything remains pretty much similar in this room there isn't any things added or removed so going into digital well-being as you can see it is there and again that graph is not present over here i think if i'm not wrong the graph was not present in the previous build too i remember that so going into the security and location fingerprint scanner is working absolutely well as you can see slightly better than other rooms here it is fast enough but not as fast as the miui rooms location also works fine so talking about the display option, all the standard stuff is present over here as you can see wake on plug, pocket detection, double tap to wake, let us try it out. As you can see works but there isn't any haptic feedback when the display is turned on, that's one thing. So going into the night light, it is also working fine. As you can see you can change the intensity of it from there. So going back and talking about the owl's nest, that's all the customization options, let me show you that. As you can see here are all the required customization options and guys I've already reviewed these customizations in tons of other Pi rooms you can check it out. I'm not gonna repeat them again in this video. Let me show you some of the basic ones like the navigation bar. As you can see here is the on screen navigation buttons which is working absolutely well. You can also change its portrait height etc. So going into navigation as you can see. Let me disable this one because I like using hardware keys. Going into status bar here are a couple of stuff. Okay, this was there in the last build too. As I went into status bar, it gave force close in the last build too, if I'm not wrong. Yes, I remember it properly. So going into the status bar here, battery percentage can be enabled next to the icon, inside the icon, etc. Next to the icon looks better. As you can see, even the battery style, Android Q is also there, looks really neat. Carrier label, clock settings, etc. And again, there is a force close over here. Yes, as you can see. Let me try whether it's working or not. Okay, it's working fine, but when you're shifting through settings like this, it gives a force close. Sometimes, system UI force close. So going into network traffic monitor, you can enable this. It will show your current upload and download speeds. So going back and talking about the performance in this room, let me show you my last Geekbench score really quick. So going into the Geekbench and the history. As you can see, here is my score. So I've got a score of 3473 for the multi-core and 1455 for the single core score here it is it's a little bit lesser than some other pi rooms which i have reviewed on the redmi note 3 which were able to score at least around 3500 plus but not a big deal over here guys the performance in this room is really good there aren't any lags whatsoever in the system i didn't see not even a single lag while my usage so talking about the pubg gameplay it was also really good it was pretty much similar to the older builds. There is no any major difference in terms of this build and the previous build. That's why I'm not putting that video again over here. You can check that previous video. Link is in the description. In a nutshell, the performance in this room is also good. Going into the battery life. Let me show you my battery usage till now. Here it is. So here's my battery usage, guys. When I first booted the ROM, the device was somewhere around 90% of charge. Later on, I played PUBG. So guys, this is just an estimate. If you want more information, I will give out the screenshot after two days of usage. It's already been like one day, one day plus of usage. So I need to trust it further. So talking about the PUBG gameplay, so battery drain during PUBG was exactly somewhere around 10% for 28 minutes of gameplay. Yes, 10% of battery drain for 28 minutes of gameplay. And that's good and I think that's a little bit better than other ROMs too. So talking about YouTube, I use YouTube for around 40 minutes and there the battery drain was somewhere around 8%, not more than that. Later talking about the standby time, it had drained somewhere around 10 to 12% of battery for 20 hours of standby, which is a little bit more, but it's not a big deal over there. Like it's not draining or anything like that, but yeah. I'll test it further and I'll have a screenshot on my Instagram stories. It's all about technology 24 and 7. Link is in the description or it's appearing somewhere over here. You can follow me over there. I also share the screenshots on Telegram channel. Link is in the description. Join over there too. So this was regarding the battery life till now. 
So this was the official review of the AOS IP dub best letters build on the Redmi Note 3. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also do follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I'm active over there. You can ask me any questions regarding tech. This is all about technology 2027. Signing off for the moment. You guys have a great day. Peace.